Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to your baby. Yes. Happy Tuesday, y'all. If this is your first time clicking on my video, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I hope you watch it till the end. Look, watch it till the end. Okay. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment. That's it, y'all. It's all you got to do. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for, for clicking on. And um, I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Um, today is my Monday, even though it's Tuesday. So, you know, we April, we, we, we four months into the year. Before you know it, the whole, this year is going to be up, y'all. And those 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 New Year's resolutions, have anybody been working on their New Year's resolution? It's April. Has anyone been working on their New Year's resolution? Okay. Now, every year, January, after when December comes, girl, in January, with January 1st, uh -uh, it's on and cracking. I'm leaving people alone. I'm getting people out of my life. I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to stop drinking. Look, I'm going to stop eating. I'm just going to kick those, those negative people out of my life. Every year you say the same thing. Every single year. Now, I want you guys to reflect back on your New Year's resolution this year. I want you to close your eyes and think back how you brought the New Year in. Okay? And that morning, after y'all kicked it and did whatever you did and did the countdown, <coughs> later on, excuse me, later on you went to bed... You woke up, you had New Year's dinner, family came over, you did whatever. Y'all sat around the table and everybody talked about what their New Year's resolution was going to be, what they were going to achieve this year. In 2019, I'm getting ready to do this and I'm getting ready to do that. It is April the 9th. Has anyone started on their New Year's resolution? And if you started, how's it going? You have any, good, you have any luck with that? Now, the reason why I'm bringing this point up is forget about a New Year's resolution. When you want to make changes in your life, you do it now. You don't wait till January yeah, because you're making it like a project. You're making it like a project then. When January 1st come, I'm going to do this. So now you make, it's just like a diet. Okay, I'm going to go on a diet. I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to eat. No, you have to, it's, it's, a, it's a change. It's a, it's a lifestyle change. It's a change. It's a want to change. It's a want to make difference. It's a, I'm tired of the negativity. It's, that's what it is. It's, it's when you get to that I'm tiredness. I want to change this. You know, so when New Year's come, you make this resolution and then it's more like a, a diet. It's more like a, 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 a chore. It's more like a, no, that's why you don't succeed. That's why you don't, you might start off good with it. You might be like, well, I'm getting ready to block Keisha from calling me because I ain't got time for no negativity. I'm getting ready to block Keisha. Or I'm getting ready, I'm not even going to call him no more. Next time he call me, I ain't going to even talk to him. How long that lasts? 
two weeks, month. By the time, by the time February comes, you didn't forget all about your resolution. It ain't no resolution. It's an everyday resolution. You don't wait to January 1st to want to make a change. I'm just going to keep messing up. I'm going to keep being mean. I'm going to keep being rude. I'm going to eat myself into oblivion. And, but when January 1st come, I'm going to change. So you're going to wait to January 1st to stop to, to stop doing the things that you need to do to help yourself, to improve your quality of life, to improve yourself. To prove your quality of life, you're going to wait to January 1st to do it. No, y'all. We got to do it now. January 1st may not never come around for us. Life is too short. We have to make those changes right now. Okay? And work on it. And then in January 1st, you will see some changes. We can say, okay, you know, when January when next year comes... You can reflect back on your previous year. So this is 2019. We start making changes now. When 2020 comes, you can look back and be like, wow, I achieved that. I did that. Well, shoot, I'm getting ready to go even more harder. It makes you go harder, makes you go stronger. And next thing you know, you just start building and building and building yourself to where you want to be. But we can't wait to do that. It's an everyday change. It's an everyday. You don't wait to January 1st to say you're going to make a change. So you're going to keep doing everything you're doing. You're going to keep that negative people in your life. Those negative people, the, the negative people that, that, that brings you harm. The negative people that just sucks the life out of you you're gonna keep them in your life until january 1st you're not gonna make any changes until january 1st so you're gonna endure all that heartache you're gonna endure all that all that you're gonna keep enduring it until january 1st no that ain't how it work y'all there's steps to healing and there's steps for changing. And one of them is to do it right now. You don't wait till January 1st to do it. I just thought I'd bring that up because here it is April. It's four months in, 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 in the year and all these people went out and got gym memberships. Signed up for all these different things. They ain't going to be smoking no more. Okay, all these things that they could just do on a daily basis. Because when you set that, that goal for yourself, it makes it more like a chore. Instead of just doing something that you want to do on your own to make yourself better. That's it. I wanted to bring that to you guys and tell you guys, make that change now. Don't wait till January 1st. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, y'all. That's all I'm saying. And I also want to say, I've been really, really reading a lot about Nipsey and his life. And I am just, I feel so bad about, not just for him, but for the way the world is nowadays. And how people are so loosely killing each other. And robbing from each other. And, and do it's just, it's not the world we live in. People always want to say, that's the world we live in. No, it's not. It's not the world we live in. It's the people in the world that we're living in. It ain't the world. It wasn't the gun that shot him. It was the person that was holding the gun. The motorcycle ain't a bad thing. It's the person riding it. You know, everybody want to say it's just, you know, it's the world that we live in. No, it's the people in the world that we live in. Okay? 
And the, the people in this world, and whatever is going on, it is not a good thing. It is not. Okay, so we have to check ourselves. We have to make sure our circle is tight and small. Only have people in your circle that you trust that ain't going, you know, because I'm telling you. It's sad. I feel so bad for him. He was really a, a good man. He was really trying to do something. He was really putting money in the community. He was really trying to make a change. He was, man, I, I feel so bad. So again, once again, I just, my heart goes out to his family, his children. And um, they're supposed to be having the funeral Thursday. And uh, I feel bad. I want you guys to think, you know, say some happy thoughts. Think some happy thoughts for him and his family and say some good prayer for him and his family because they need they need all of our support right now. They need all of our support right now. But look here, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. I want to come to you and say good morning. I wanted to come and tell you guys I love you and I appreciate you. And I want you guys to just hang in there with me, y'all. We got to hang in there together and take each day one day at a time. Each flaw, we got to work on it one flaw at a time, one day at a time. We can't rush and do anything. We got to work on it one at a time, one day at a time. That's it, y'all. That's it. So check this out. What I always say. Hold your head up. Chest out. Nose level. You don't want to be walking around with your nose all stuck in the air. Because you feel the way you feel it. No. Uh-uh. No. We're going to keep our head just like this. We're going to keep a smile on our face. We're going to work on ourselves. One flaw. One attribute. At a time, one day at a time. That's what we going to do, y'all. Okay? And I ain't even going to tell you to stay sucker free because you already know that. So until the next video, peace.